All right, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing what is a sales funnel and how you can make one that actually makes money. So if you're new to the channel, hey, my name is DG Funnels. I help businesses grow online using sales funnels and other software. Make sure to subscribe if you're into that sort of thing. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in on the video. Oh, and before I forget, if you find this interesting and you want to give sales funnels a shot in your business, I did put a link in the description below where you can grab some free funnel templates. You will have to utilize ClickFunnels service um, in order to access it. If you're not really familiar with that, check out some of my other videos so you can get the full rundown on exactly how that works. But let's go ahead and get right into it. What is a sales funnel and how to create one that actually makes money? So let's start it. What is a, a sales funnel? If you've done any type of research online, you've probably seen this thing here, right? And it's sales page, order page, upsell one, upsell two, main purchase, downsell, opt-in, email, follow-up, welcome page. And if you've really never heard of this, and this is what you've been exposed to, it's probably had you feeling like this. Like, what am I looking at? What is this? I don't, how exactly does this make me money? How do I use this in my business? So I'm going to really simplify things for you. A sales funnel is a type of website. Okay. It's a type of website, just like there are different types of websites that you're probably more familiar with, like a blog website or a homepage or a, a Shopify store type of site. A sales funnel is simply a type of website. Now, this is how it differs from a traditional type of website that you may be more familiar or accustomed to um, with, and I'm using this little drawing here depiction of a maze to really describe that because this is really looking at the customer experience so somebody visits your site and they're trying to figure out how do I how do I become a customer where's the cart where do I buy but they have all these different options right they have contact they have about they have products they have services so what happens is that a traditional website can be very confusing and ultimately what it leads to is the majority of, of the traffic and the people who visit, they just leave without ever actually taking any type of course of action. So that could be giving you their contact information to become a lead, to request a call or actually buying something, whether it be a service or a product right there online. And what a funnel does is that it looks to simplify this process. So instead of having this kind of the customer can go any type of way with a sales funnel it's very linear and direct so what separates a sales funnel from a traditional website is that it's designed to push your customer to take one specific course of action that's it we want them to just do the next thing in line of their customer journey so as you can see here with this depiction we want to attract them which is drive traffic engage with the audience generate increase and then take and convince the cost excuse me talk and convince the customer to purchase right so and this is more for like a service business type of model if you needed to create a lead and then call them and close the deal or whatever but you can do this even if you were actually selling the service or the product online as well but that's kind of the idea that we just want to point them in the direction of the thing that we want them to take advantage of of the action that we want them to do as opposed to just blasting them or giving them so many different places to click and so much to think about. OK, so there are a bunch of different types of funnels and the way that you determine which one to use is based on your business objective. So here are just a couple of the different types of funnels. You have lead funnels, you have home page funnels, product launch funnels, webinar funnels, high ticket funnels, book funnels. And there's even more than that. Um, if you need more information about the different types of funnels and when to use them, I actually have some videos on my channel and a playlist where you can look at those videos and, and get some information and an idea of how you would implement those potentially in, in your business for the various needs and things like that for the purposes, of course, of generating customers and, and clients online. So now let's talk about how to make a funnel that actually converts and makes you money. So there's going to be three key components to this and they're going to be in order of importance but i'm going to caution you don't just listen to the first one and say oh that's the most important thing and then click away from the video okay make sure that you watch this video through to the end because even though number one is the most important 
the other things are equally important as well. And well, they can't be equally important if it's the most. But <laughs> so let me just rephrase that the other things are, are also important because what you're looking to do is maximize your ROI. And so in order to make as much money as possible to get the highest conversion possible, you're going to need to excel in all three. But one of them and the first one that we're going to talk about is the most critical to you having any type of success. And that's going to be that you need a captivating offer. So you have to be offering something that people actually want and are willing to spend money for. So I'm going to say that again, that they want it and are willing to spend money for because there's a bunch of stuff that people want that they're not willing to spend money for. So you have to be able to do both. You need a captivating offer, something that they can't resist something that they feel like they must possess. And that could be information, that could be a physical thing. And more often than not, it is going to be solving some type of problem, especially if you're in the service business space, you're solving some type of problem that they're facing. So your offer needs to overly convey that it is solving a problem, it needs to be captivating, it needs to be something they want that they're willing to pay for. All right. Now, the next thing is that you need to have effective sales copy. And I don't want to be too general with that. I want to actually give you something to take away from it without going too deep. So I'll give you the biggest issue that most people run into when it comes to sales copy is that they're writing about the company and they spend too much time talking about themselves, talking about the team, talking about the employees, talking about their accolades, talking about all of the things that really don't matter to the customer. The customer literally just wants to know, do you have a solution for my problem? How does any of this relate to me getting a solution? And the only extent that they want to hear about you is just to the extent that they need to be comfortable with your credibility to know that you are the person who can solve the problem. That's it. So focus more on your clients, focus more on what all of this means for them focus more on the stories that you're telling that allow them to see the big picture without you necessarily have to paint painting that picture for them so that is effective sales copy copy that is really about the customer and the client and their journey and the solution to their problem not so much about all of the great things that you and your team has accomplished because at the end of the day they don't care about the previous thousands or hundreds of people that you've serviced, they only care about what is going to happen in their situation. And then number three is you need a good looking funnel with sound strategy. Now, looks aren't everything. <laughs> OK, um, and look, I'm somebody that actually sells funnel design work, and I will tell you that looks are not everything. However, the look is very important for establishing credibility because you all have probably experienced this yourself. Think about it. You go to a website. The website may have some really compelling information, um, have a pretty good offer, but it, it just doesn't really look professional. It looks outdated. It looks thrown together. And immediately what you start thinking is, I don't know if I want to put my credit card in on this site. I don't know if I want to put my phone number in on this site. I don't know where these people are located. Now I want to do research. Now I want to see if they have reviews. Now I want to see if there's a competitor. So while looks aren't everything, looks are very important in terms of establishing credibility. Looks are very important in terms of making it so that the customer actually stays on the page, continues to read your sales copy, absorbs that sales message, and ultimately is persuaded to buy. So you need to have a good looking funnel because it'll be easier for, for them to read, which makes them more likely to, to stay on and be persuaded by your sales message, but also it's gonna convey trust and credibility. And then also you need a sound strategy as well. And that has to do with the design framework and the way that things are laid out in your funnel, as well as having to do with what happens on the back end. So do they go to a thank you page? Are they offered an upsell? Are they offered um, you know, more products, order bumps, all of those stuff. So you want to make sure that you also have a sound strategy in place as well with your 
um, with your particular funnel. And I would recommend that if you're very new and you're just getting started to just start with a template. That's what kind of gives funnels the advantage versus building out traditional sites is that really anybody can do it. There's no tech skill or design skill needed. Just start with a template so you already have an idea of what should go where and then just kind of build on it from there. So that pretty much covers it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for checking it out. If you like this video, it is super necessary that you subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. That way you can get alerted every time we release new content just like this on the channel. That's going to help you get more clients online. Don't forget to grab that free uh, funnel template bundle. It's in the link in the description below. And also, don't forget to check out these other videos where we really go in depth about what is a sales funnel and all the different funnel types. And until the next time, peace.